Hey guys, F-150 here from F-150 Game, and I'd like to bring y'all guys and gals Soul Calibur. It is back. Finally. Well, it's been back, and they had an earlier trailer, but this is just me. This is exclusive to F-150 Game, and my hype and my concerns and everything about it. But I mean, I mean, I could just sum it up in one word. I mean, Soul Calibur's back, guys. I mean, the, <laughs> that's it. The video's over. <laughs> nah, fuck it. Nah, I'm messing with y'all. But... I am really excited that Soul Calibur is back. I mean, this new trailer they just showed is like they actually introduced an exclusive character to this timeline, which is Gro. He looks sick, especially with the like the like the um, two swords that come together. I mean, that's kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of like Avatar: The Last Airbender with Zuko. I mean, Zuko's swords did become like one big sword. I mean, it didn't extend at the end, but it did become one big sword. And, that was kind of cool. Zuko was always my favorite character of the Avatar series, and that little dual blade stuff is kind of reminds me of him. And I'm liking the fact that they really didn't go too over the top with his design. That's actually a good thing. That's a good step in the right direction because, I mean, and like, there's nothing wrong with anime. I mean, I love anime, but sometimes when you kind of take it too far just for fan service, it kind of becomes kind of stale. But I'm really glad it kind of kept his design grounded. Sean Wall. Next up is Sean Wall. Sean Wall seems like she's virtually untouched. I mean, for the most part, she's still Sean Wall. Tricky as hell, annoying as hell. She's going to be pretty much one of the best characters in the game. Like, seriously. She was always good. She has that really tricky style. She can mess with you. She still has to, I, I'm kidding! That little voice she got annoying. It's cute, but I really hope they do kind of tweak her super just a little bit. It does look like a copy and paste from Lacia with a little bit extra, but hopefully they fix that. And But she looks cute. She has that cute voice. I mean, this is young Sean Wall, so she's going to be annoying as hell. Then we got my boy Keelik. He looks sick. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know why. I mean, I understand that Deep, where somewhere down the line, maybe Musarugi is the main character, but the way they treat Keelik, Keelik's pretty much like the Ryu, the Kazuya. You know, see, how I say Kazuya because I mean, people say Jin's the main character. No, Kazuya is, but he's like the Kazuya, like the pretty much the character they like to touch and pretty much make up. I mean, he looks sick as hell. I'm really glad that he's not that stupid Edge Master because that really made me really lose hope for Keelik. And then you have like then you have Nightmare, which is <laughs> he's Nightmare. Big ass armor, blue, evil, all in one package. I will say that I do like his super. It looks sick as hell. I mean he brings out like a dark shadow horse, which is cool. Hashtag shadow horse. I mean that alone will make me play the character. Also, the armor breaking moves, the armor breaking mechanic, which I didn't really like, and that is one of my concerns about it. But at least with Nightmare, if you break his armor, now you can actually break the top of his head, and now you get to see who's in it. And as a right, and pretty much, if y'all guys didn't know, this is the Soul Calibur One timeline, so this is about the time where um, Siegfried gets possessed by the Soul Calibur. So it's like. It's like, it looks sick. You can see, like, the thing beating out of his chest. I don't think I have the gameplay to show you, but you guys can go look it up. Just Soul Calibur 6, anything. You'll be able to find it. And Mitsurugi, there's not much to talk about him. He's Mitsurugi, Japanese samurai, stereotypical Japanese samurai. Looks cool as hell. He, he still does have the pubic hair. <laughs> the pubic hair facial facial hair which is I don't know I, I think he just just went naked face and Sophia Sophia milf big tits blonde hair that's Sophia but I mean the real hype is like the gameplay like I'm really glad that Soul Calibur is still as fast paced as 2 was because it seems like the speed is about around 2 it's like a good middle ground between 2 and 1 and a 2 and 1 like it's got it's got that middle ground like it's not as fast as one, and it has about the same speeds as two, but it looks sick. I mean, I, I can't stress this enough. Like, I love the aesthetics, the presentation. It kind of has like the, 
Tekken 7 feel. I know it really uses, I know this, I think this game used the Unreal Engine 4, which is good because the Unreal Engine 4 did Tekken justice. And it's gonna do this the same too. And I think one of the directors was actually one of the people who helped develop Tekken. So he's actually gonna be taking some of the stuff he learned from helping with Tekken or what he did with Tekken. I'm not big on that stuff. But it seems like, he seems like it's coming out with the Soul Calibur. It's got that more cinematic-y, like more of like, like some pseudo realistic where you can see the dirt coming out like the dirt from the ground and how dirty the people look because you know like I'm not saying people back in the day didn't really keep themselves clean but they didn't have the products we have so I'm really glad they kind of keep that up and I mean I can't I can just ramble on about how great the game is the supers look a freaking amazing I mean Siegfried's over there I mean not Siegfried I mean Mitsuru over there doing the same super he had from uh, Soul Calibur 5 but it looks cool as hell and cinematic as hell but like to go with the praise I gotta go with the concerns and as one of the concerns I have is it still uses me I don't like meter in Soul Calibur it works in 2D fires but it does not work for me in Soul Calibur I really a dumb mechanic because I do not like the fact that characters moves are restricted to meter like the guard impacting and all that but I mean they add EX moves it does add different layers add juggle properties but I'm guessing that's another and that's the thing also another concern of mine is that they really seem like they really don't want to progress in this further in the story because I guess five story got hit with heavy criticism but I mean it is what it is I mean I'm not gonna cry about it I really do want to see what happened after five but if they can make this game sick in the earlier days and so Calibur 1 and 2 are undoubtedly the best of the series so I can see why they're going back but I mean story wise I, I mean I hope this untold story kind of tells a little bit more but I kind of just want to see what goes like what's going on for what really happened to talking because it said she kind of was on a mission so she wasn't she was still active but it is what it is the only upside about it being in the past is that we get to see talking again she probably won't be as voluptuous because you know Mitsurugi has that pubic hair stubble, so it probably won't be such a big thing, but But I'm really hyped for this game like it looks like great and I mean Project soul y'all guys done it again y'all pull me in with just one little gameplay and One trailer and showing nightmare on a freaking horse I mean y'all guys really do do good work and y'all need to support them and support Bandai Namco who like who published this game? I mean, they made Tekken great, there, but I'm, I'm pretty much sure they can make this game like amazing. And Soul Calibur is back, guys, and best believe I will play this on my channel. Like, the hype is real, and I hope you guys enjoy Soul Calibur growing up like I did, as you saw in the Online Warrior series. But I needed to talk about this. I mean, Soul Calibur has returned, and I mean the mechanics, the way it looks. I mean, and, it, and it's coming back in a sharp way. I wish I knew the name of that mechanic they have now. It was kind of look more like a, a dual mode where you kind of go into a cinematic way and you have to guess the buttons. It's kind of like what Mortal Kombat versus DC did with the um, free falling and whatnot. It's up a lot cooler. So I kind of want to know the name of it. But if you want to know like real detailed stuff, you go to Max's channel. He kind of really gives y'all like the play by play stuff about it and he'll tell you more about what I can do I'm just more of a intermediate type player that really doesn't understand like I understand most things but I don't understand like the major stuff but that's more of Max's thing and man when I tell you that I'm really excited that this game has returned I mean my favorite one of my favorite fighting game franchises has returned I mean no joke like I am really glad this came back and What's it called? And I'm really glad that Soul Calibur 6 is shaping up to be great. Hopefully the next trailer will be talky. If it is, I may do a live reaction to it. Or I just may give y'all a review. It doesn't, not a review, but my thoughts about talky returning. But best believe that I'm going to be doing more of this, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you can. Drop me a sub. I could sure use it. And if you love Soul Calibur, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And go ahead and subscribe for more, guys. I will have more content on my channel. I will try to bring it up as soon as possible. I tr I guarantee you there will no be, there will never be dry spells on my channel if I can avoid it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much. Epa 50 out. And 
What's it called? We love Soul Calibur, guys. Thank you and goodbye.